welcome to a new edition of the IoT Friday. Today we're going to talk about how to learn to program electric imp in just five minutes or even less. So to, to do it, we're going to do it with the, with the developer's kit of the electric imp. And yeah, it's, it's that size or even smaller. I met the founder of electric imp uh, some weeks ago and they have an even a smaller um, edition of their electric imp. And it's actually an SD card size. So it's pretty cool. So to introduce you Electric Imp, let me show you the first step. So what is Electric Imp? So Electric Imp is just a CPU, memory, uh, RAM, and a Wi-Fi chip here inside this SD card. So plugging this SD card to some of the uh, shields that you can find on Spark Fun, Adafruit, etc. You can connect sensors and actuators. Um, for example, this developer's edition has 128 kilobytes of RAM where 64 are at least used for code, so actually it's, it's pretty amazing what you can do with this SD card. The Wi-Fi works pretty good with uh, 2.4 MHz, um, and it's pretty stable when it's online. Okay, so what can you connect? You can connect sensors and actuators of 3.3 volts, uh, not 5 volts this time, and you can plug any kind of batteries. And uh, one amazing thing before getting into how to program it is how to actually connect it to the Wi-Fi. So uh, for connecting to the Wi-Fi, you need to blink up the electric imp. And what does it mean to blink up the electric imp? This, this is a very cool process that you have to, to use. So you need a mobile phone, Android or iOS, I think. And um, you need to download the mobile application of electric imp. There, with, you, with the mobile phone connected to the Wi-Fi, where you want to connect your electric imp, you need to blink it up. And what does it mean? So that means that you have uh, in the SD card some light sensors, and you have to put the SD card connected to a battery, of course, and with the shield uh, in front of the, of the display of the mobile phone. And uh, the mobile phone, through some blinks, will send the Wi-Fi code of your Wi-Fi at home or at office, or etc. And it works pretty well. Then uh, there, there are some LEDs here inside the electric imp that they will tell you if, it's if the electric imp is connected or it's not connected. And um, yeah, you can find a lot of uh, all of these uh, LED uh, codes on the website of electricim.com. Uh, okay, how to program it? So how to program it? Uh, they are uh, kind of uh, innovative in this way. First, because uh, they introduce an, a web IDE. Um, I'm sure that uh, you can also do it on your favorite IDE and, and your computer, but it's not that easy or it's, it's not public yet, I think. So you have to go to ide.electricim.com, create an account, and from there you can program uh, your electric imp. And how does it work? It works with a Squirrel, it's a, diff a new uh, programming language. It's, uh, it reminds me a bit um, kind of JavaScript. But it's not exactly like JavaScript, but it's an event-based uh, programming language. That means that all the events that are happening to the sensors and actuators connected to your electric imp uh, are going to pop up your device. Okay, so how does it work? So um, electric imp actually is a cloud agent running on, on their cloud infrastructure. And actually each device is speaking with one agent running on their cloud solution. That means that you need to program two things. The first one is the device, the physical one that you have, and the second is the agent that it's running on the Electric Him Cloud platform. So for programming the device, uh, it's called NAT, for the squirrels, uh, for example, if you want to do it kind of uh, Arduino style, if you are coming from Arduino, there are some operations like wake up, where uh, you wake up every second and you're calling the same operation, like loop operation that we have on Arduino. Uh, if not, there are other operations that are just uh, waking up the, the device. That said, when you want to call the, the agents, there is a, an object called agent. So if you say agent.send and then you call the, the action, the function on, on your agent model, um, it, it actually wakes up your agent that it's running on the cloud server. And if you have a device on and the, the name of the method that you were calling on the device and then a function where all your features are developed, it works like that. 
Uh, on the Asian, you have HTTP uh, libraries that actually let you do whatever you like with the data that you are getting from the devices. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> some tips. So developer center is amazing. So there is a lot of information. You can learn how to program Squirrel on the developer center of Electric Im. So if you don't have any clue about Squirrel, don't worry. Go there and just learn about Squirrel, about and about how this device and Asian thing works. It's very easy. Second, there is a forum where they actually uh, reply and very quick all the questions that the community have. It's not uh, like a huge community like Arduino, but it's growing and growing because the product is very good. And finally, they are going to release very soon a library. So probably you will... Uh, so if you go to the GitHub uh, from Electric Imp, you will have some libraries there. They are not working yet, but uh, when they are going to... Uh, upgrade the firmware of Electric Imp and, and the developer editions, I think we are going to be able to use libraries and that it's going to be very helpful for developers. So at the things that I owe, we are also developing a library for Electric Imp. So that's all for today. Um, it's a very cool uh, platform, actually. So see you in the next edition of the IoT Friday. Bye.